This is the Emergency Medical Minute. All right, hey, I'm Dr. Orenstein, Pediatrics. How are you all? Good. Um, good. We had a um, we had a nice, interesting uh, case who came and she was watching the game with her mom. And um, after the game was over, mom said that she was agitated and crying, and then she went lethargic. Uh, uh, when she um, uh, saw that this was sort of like a little bit of a repeating pattern, agitated, lethargic, uh, she called 911 because the kid really wasn't responding normally. And as she has had a, uh, a son who also had a seizure disorder, probably febrile seizures, she thought this might be a seizure and called 911, brought them in. Um, en route, uh, EMS described the same thing. Um, a, a three-year-old who was crying uh, agitatedly and then uh, becoming unresponsive, and that alternating cycle of agitation and um, decreased mental status is worrisome. Um, she had a, um, uh, her vitals when she got here uh, were kind of interesting. She had normal heart rate, uh, a little bit uh, tachypnic, um, and her blood pressure was a little bit elevated when she got here. However, when she quieted down, uh, her heart rate dropped into the 50s, and that's something that they also saw en route here. And the further history from the mom was that um, she'd been completely well. There was nothing wrong with her until after the game was over, and so we have a kid with an altered mental status and bradycardia. So we got a, um, and mom denied that there was anyone in the home who had any medications, that she could have gotten into anything, and that as they were all together watching the game for the last couple of hours, she couldn't have gotten into anything. When she was out, she was maintaining her heart rate of 50s, maintaining her blood pressure, and her airway was intact. She wasn't uh, vomiting, she was protecting her airway, but her breathing, which was periodic, um, was concerning. We put her on CPAP, an empty bottle of clonidine fell out <laughs> from her pajamas. Um, uh, clonidine ingestion will give you bradycardia and mental status changes. Um, there's a study, 2017, 68 adults with clonidine ingestions, uh, mental status changes, worse if you've had co-ingestions, hypotension, mean duration is about 20 hours or so. So these people will all need to be at least obsed for a day or so. Great case, great response from everyone here. Thank you. Thanks. Undress your patients. <laughs> Emergency Medical Minute is and always will be about free medical education. Medicine's most prolific podcast is successful because of our supporters, donors, and of course, our listeners. Please like us on Facebook and follow us on Twitter. And if you support spreading free medical education, please donate at our website, emergencymedicalminute.com. As always, keep listening.